Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, the 10th of June, 2022. That's uh, 3.30ish in the afternoon. It is 33 degrees Celsius out there. Humidity is at 54%. That would be 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a warm one. So, uh, basically headed to the store. Uh, for some more staple stuff. Trying to find the best prices on macaroni and cheese. Now I have been splurging and getting the pre-made stuff by Jimmy Dean or whoever um, and also the single serve cups but those prices are going ridiculous so back to the the old basics the box macaroni and cheese now the store I was at Walmart I went to the other day uh, didn't have they had macaroni and cheese they didn't have the the cheaper varieties that I was looking for nothing over nothing under a dollar so according to their website they have it for 43 cents according to Win Dixie's website they have stuff for 57 cents a little bit more a little bit, not not super bad but a little bit more i can remember when they were like four and five for a dollar <laughs> uh, of course back then wages were were lower as well but anyway we're going to run out there and look at that and then rice Um, I still like the, the single serve rice packets, depending on how much they are. It's just, it's more convenient. Although I can, I'll, I might, if the price is right, I'll try some instant rice, but yeah. So anyway, I had intended to come out today and do some crayon art. Uh, man, I forgot they put all these speed humps in on everything. Should have gone out on the other road. Anyway, I was going to do some of the melted crayon art, but it's just too hot out. And I don't really have the space inside, at least not right now, Hopefully, once I have everything uh, sorted out, I'll have a little more space in my room to set up a small table to work at. Right now, that's not the that's not the reality of it. So, uh, anyway. One thing about um, tutoring Miss Sassy here is it's kind of kind of sparked my creativity again, sparked my muse, whatever. Uh, there's things that I want to try. Again, I've got to find the room, or like like I said, it's you know it's hot out, so. Maybe this evening I can set up some light and go out and do something. Um, but we'll see. So, let's see what else. Uh, 
There were a couple of things I wanted to talk about today. Now I can't. Now I can't think of it. That's par for the course. Um, oh, I had mentioned before about uh, about you know getting the smaller size cans of beans and whatnot. Um, I made a mix up. A, a, I guess kind of a bean salad type thing. I used the black, the black beans and the, the white navy beans. Added some peppers and onions, and then that jalapeno lime salad dressing. Um, added some jalapeno, some chopped jalapenos, and the brine from it, and put them in to start marinating, fermenting, whatever. And I made it up last night with some with some uh, salad greens and uh, a little tuna. And it was it was really tasty. But the thing is, like those big cans, that makes a lot. Oh my goodness. It makes a lot. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be eating off of that for probably a week and of course I thought I was going to get it all into a jar <laughs> it didn't go in a jar so I had to dig through and find a, a uh, container to put them in at least until I've dug through it a couple times reduced it down then I'll I'll put it in the jar but probably just go ahead I mean canned beans are so convenient but like I said it makes it makes so much I do have the dehydrated black beans I don't have the white beans although I think I'd get them for like $15 or something um, but I do have I do have black uh, uh, just regular dried beans like a bag of dried beans uh, the black and I th thought I had white but I don't what I have are pintos and that's not what I was looking for or not what's not what I want in the in the mix I probably could probably could do black white and pinto but again Not exactly what I want. So the other night I ordered off of Amazon a six pack of potted meat, which is it's just a meat slurry in a can. Um, the six cans were three bucks. So it used to be you could buy them at Dollar Tree, fifty cents a can, but you can't. Anymore. So I picked up. I ordered. I ordered six, and my brother has asked me what it was all about. And you know, I was like, "Well, each one of these is basically a sandwich, and you carry it. You can carry it with you, or or whatever. It's just quick and easy, shelf stable." And he wanted to try it, and uh, he was not impressed. <laughs> he was not impressed at all. He's like, ah, I don't usually eat cat food. Like, okay, I doesn't taste like cat food to me. I've had cat food, but uh, it does. It does have an odd consistency. It's kind of on the level of, of deviled ham, you know. But if you spice it up right, or add add the right condiments to it, it may not be cuisine but it's edible I think and it you know fills a hole in your stomach so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here at Dollar Tree while I'm out I'm trying to remember there's something in here that I wanted to get 
hopefully I'll remember and not walk around with a ton of a ton of extra stuff. I'm thinking the spray box is what I want. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna do what I need to do, and uh, then I'll go next door to Walmart and do what I need to do. And when I come out, I will finish this up. So uh, that's gonna be a little bit, but for y'all, it's gonna be like. We're back. Uh, well, they had the pasta that I was looking for. Excuse me. Uh, but I also went with a few others. Uh, I'm going to find a spot to sit and do a shopping haul. So. That'll be up and posted later. You can look at that. Man, do I want to sit through all this traffic? No, I do not. Probably be just as bad. We'll try. We'll try going behind this other store down the other end of the parking lot. Will it be any faster? Probably not. But, I just hate sitting. So, uh, it's so warm in Walmart. I mean, they've got air conditioners going. Or their big swamp coolers on the roof. But, I mean, it's 91, 92 degrees out here. Plus, you have all that humanity inside. Doing humanity things. Ugh. But even just like just walking around through Walmart makes you break a sweat. They've got speed bumps down that stretch of road. So <laughs> swing out and around and take any extra time because that little forerunner up there pulled out in front of me in the parking lot so I guess six to one half dozen the other the way we went but uh So, I don't know how things are going on all over the country. I know it's bad. Uh, two, of the, two of the girls that grew up with my daughters are looking for new places to live because their rents are going up. One is going up seven hundred dollars in September and the other one is going up uh, seven or eight hundred dollars a month I mean used to be that was a lot to pay for a month now they're raising it so the one's gonna be at like thirteen hundred or fourteen hundred the other one's gonna be over two grand And it's that way everywhere. Well, everywhere down here anyway. Rents are rents are ridiculously crazy. The housing is crazy. We've got people coming down, well coming to Florida, I can't just say coming down, but 
Yeah, there's a lot of New York plates. There's a lot of California plates. There's several others. That it's not usual in the summertime. In the winter, you know, the, the snowbirds come down. But these are people that are down and like, well, my one son-in-law is a home inspector. And he has people, like, he goes and inspects a house and the people that to pay for the inspection don't get it because somebody outbids them like you know prices are already astronomical and these people are coming down and saying oh that's not a bad price and then you know offering 20 50 60 thousand dollars more than asking and they're kind of doing the same thing with apartments from what i understand i mean if you go to new york city you know, a, a single efficiency apartment, what we would call a closet down here, is a thousand dollars a month. So you know, you get a you come down here and you got a a three bedroom, two baths, you know, with all the amenities, a pool and you know, all that stuff and you know, it's thirteen hundred dollars a month. Well, that's <laughs> people are people are you know going nuts over that. So, uh. and then there's the, the wage issue. And I stopped at stopped at Wendy's last week or the week before to get the kids Frosties, and the lobby was locked. Well, they came and unlocked it, but the, the manager's like, "I'm sorry, but we're just so short staffed." can't keep I can't keep the lobby open because nobody wants to work for what, what they're willing to pay and I had a friend I ran into a friend the other day uh, a guy that I used to work for I used to drive for occasionally and he's got four trucks four big dump trucks uh, three of them are just sitting because one, you can't afford you can't afford the drivers. The drivers want more money than he's willing to than he can than he can offer. And then on top of that, fuels at ten dollars a gallon. You know? So uh, see lots of lots more people down here than I thought there was going to be. But oh well. So yeah, he was like, Doc, you want to come back to work? <laughs> uh, I'd love to, but I mean, I turned, I turned my CDL in. I can't, I mean, I can't pass a medical with my heart. So anyway, I think he, I think he was kidding. He may not have been. Uh, I don't know, but. I'm gonna break off here for a couple minutes and uh, do my show and tell haul video, and then um, yeah, we'll get back and resume this. All righty, we're back again. Let's see about making my way home. the other thing I've been thinking about um, the other day this video popped up on my feed uh, woman has hit wall um, blah 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 I don't remember what it was all about but I watched it thinking she had hit a wall <laughs> she's hit the, the proverbial wall and uh, about dating and she was all like you know men don't want to Men don't want to commit, and you know where are all the where are all the men at, and 
yada 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 well I didn't think a whole lot about it and then it keeps popping up in my feed you know all these women complaining that you know men don't want to date them and you know they, they divorce their husband and you know the, they, they were dating younger guys and now the younger guys don't want anything to do with them and I mean they're not well I don't consider them old old but you know 40s and 50s they're not they're not spring chickens either so you know and then you know they've got they've got their baggage with them some of them have kids or you know whatever um, I mean a lot of us guys are no real catch you know I'm not I'm not interested I'm not out there looking at all so I mean I've had like I don't know three or four dates in the past four years three years maybe and you know, nothing nothing clicked on any of those so you know the one the one we talked for a little bit uh, and then like we went out and she wanted to go to this bar and come to find out it's a bar that like everybody knows her so yeah that was <laughs> that was that was a big red flag um, One, one was one. I'm pretty sure. I'm. I mean, I know that she catfished me. I don't know whose picture she sent, or if it was just an older picture, or what. But we had set up a place to meet, and I'm sitting there waiting for her. And yeah, the woman that walked up to me was not who I was like, who I was expecting. So again, big red flag. You know, make it through the evening, and. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, I, I don't know what these women are expecting. You know, maybe they're expecting, you know, a big buff, what do they call him, Chad? You know, with uh, lots of money driving a Lamborghini. And, you know, and, but you're not a trophy wife anymore. You know, I saw. I mean, I'm sorry to be brutal, but you know, guys, guys like that are not looking for 50-year-old women for a relationship or retirement or whatever. You know, they are looking to spend their money, and you know, they'll spend their money on a younger, prettier girl. You know, it's just that's the way it is. Look at these. Look at some of these big, big motor boats, big yachts, cruising through the, cruising through the inlets or up and down the intercoastal. You know, there's a captain there, my age, um, and then four or five gorgeous young women under, under, like I don't know, maybe 30, 35, 20, 25, you know. Why are they there? Because he pays it. He pays, you know, he doesn't actually pay them, but I don't think. But I mean you're on you're on a million dollar yacht. You're eating lobster and steak. You're you know, he takes you to the takes you to the store and buys you buys you clothes and you get to drive his drive his Mercedes or his Jaguar. Maserati or you know whatever so uh, I don't know I think I think that's probably gonna raise some eyebrows on some of you ladies out there but I, I don't understand like where do these what do these women expect you know and then they're like uh, the one the one said something about uh, and I told I totally understood because this is where I I thought about the one where you know, she used a, a, a different photograph because um, she said she had gone on, you know, she went on a date and uh, well, she, she had a date come to her house after talking for, I don't know, a week or something. 
and he came in with a, with a beer and after about 20 minutes he said I need a cigarette I'm gonna go out to the truck and get a cigarette and she waited 10 or 15 minutes went out and he was gone well and she wasn't unattractive she was she had a little bit more she was a little bit more Ruben-esque I think than you know a lot of people may have anticipated especially if she sent a an older photograph and then she got mad because he ghosted her well again that's you know, that's a major red flag at least if you aren't up front so and for me personally like I said I'm not I'm not looking for anybody um, I'm not sure even if somebody came along that I'd be interested in a long-term relationship I enjoy being by myself. Oh, excuse me. I enjoy being able to just get up and go do what I want. Stay up as long as I want. Get up when I want. So. Uh, oh, excuse me. You're going to bubble of gas. tire in the road it was just a just a uh, piece of shirt or a shirt oh man I don't know it looks like it's going to rain I got some heavy duty clouds overhead maybe it'll rain to cool things down be nicer to go out and play around with some creativity this evening uh, maybe once the sun goes down but we'll see I say that it's going to take take a little bit of setting up I have to figure out figure out some sort of lighting I think I've got a couple pieces I don't know <laughs> things are so chaotic right now even though I'm slowly working my way through but uh, and to do the crayons I need I need a couple of extension cords like I said maybe oh excuse me They require a bit of setting up to do, but we'll see. Oh, so this is about it. We're at the last turn, but one. I have to sit here through this traffic until the light changes. Actually, I'm gonna slide out here in the middle of the intersection, and then when the light changes. I get to go but uh, anyway let me know what you think folks thumbs down thumbs up leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice if you'd like to share me around your social media that'd be fantastic if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on Facebook let them know you think about them let them know you love them that yeah, worked in it we ain't promised her tomorrow people we ain't promised her next breath if you would keep my friends am and linda in your thoughts one's going through a really hard time the other one's going through a hard time too she just lost her, her big brother so uh, that could be pretty devastating but until i see y'all again i hope you have a fandoculous day it's launching y'all uh.